welcome back to my channel. Today, I am cooking everything I want to eat in a day. This is going to be so bomb, oh my god. But first, I'm going to need some caffeine. I've been really loving some iced tea in the mornings lately. <sighs> Cheers. Now we could get to the good stuff. We're starting off with a big pot of boiling water for the eggs. I picked these eggs up from my local H Mart and the yolks are so orange. Five eggs yields two servings. There's a whole science to making the perfect soft boiled egg. Place your eggs in the pot before turning the stove on, and then we wait for the water to come to a boil. Once boiling, turn the stove off, and then... Hey Google, set a timer for six minutes. Okay, six minutes. After six minutes, transfer the eggs into an ice bath. I love tapping their little booties and leaving them in the water to soak and cool for a minute. I'd ideally use chives for this recipe, but I only had green onions. It's okay though, it's still gonna be bomb. Peeling eggs is tedious, but when you snag that perfect piece connected to the rest of the membrane, ooh, it is so satisfying. Sheesh. Okay, moment of truth. Eh, she's cute, but I think four to five minutes would have been better. Leave a few halves for the sandwich and chop the rest of them up for the salad. I'm honestly eyeballing everything, but this was a little too much mayo. Oh yeah, make sure to use QP mayo. Here's a dash of rice vinegar, Trader Joe's onion salt, and a few cracks of black pepper to start. Yo, I don't know about this sound though. I'm sprinkling in my green onions and mixing it all together. Milk bread. If you can't find milk bread, any white bread will do just fine. But look how pillowy and supple this is. Oh my. Put two halves face down on one slice and why did that just sound so sexual? Oh yeah, just slather it all on. You're supposed to use Dijon mustard, but all I have is brown. Still delicious. We're removing the crust for optics, but this is a pro crust household, okay? Not bad for my first tamago sando. I'm going to inhale this. This looks so freaking bomb. It's my first time making it. They usually cut the sandwich in thirds horizontally, but I always eat my sandwiches diagonally. So I had to, I had to keep it consistent. You heard, but look at that. I'm so excited and this bread, fire. Oh my God, this is so Freaking good. Mmm! This is the best breakfast ever. It's not time for lunch yet, but I have to start prepping for lunch because I'm making something called kunguksu, which is a summer staple. What is it in English? It's a cold soy milk noodle dish. People with more mature grandma-like taste palettes tend to really enjoy this dish. The soup is really grainy, but so nutty and just... Ugh. In order to make the base, you need to make the soy milk for it. And in order to make the soy milk, you have to soak the soybeans overnight. I have some soybeans sitting on the counter that have been soaking for probably like 15 hours now. So I'm just gonna start prepping now and set the soup aside and enjoy later. This is what patience looks like. Here's the before and after. Drain the soaked soybeans and boil for 15 to 20 minutes max. You want the beans to be al dente, so keep a close eye before they turn into mush. Drain. And save a cup of the sweet soybean water. You're gonna need two tablespoons of pine nuts and two tablespoons of toasted sesame seeds. Add everything into a blender with one and a half cups of cold water. Mm. 
then blend it all into the sweet, nutty vortex of bliss. Mandatory taste test. Mmm! That is it. Perfection. Got a little lost in work and didn't realize it was two, so I'm finally gonna make my konguksu now. The base that we left in the fridge is now cold. Let's see how it turns out. I'm boiling two pots of water, one for nudes, one for eggy. I'm slicing a tomato and cucumber to use as garnish later. Cute! You want to use homyeon, which are thin noodles made of wheat flour. I'm gonna take about this much. You never know with noodles. Boil for two to three minutes, then rinse and drain in cold water. And I mean like really rinse. Okay, maybe wash. Salt to taste just before serving. Black pepper just works on everything. I have not had this in years my first time making it and I think I did a really good job. Oh my god, look at this! I'm just gonna give it a big mix. Mmm! Oh baby! Holy tits, I am freaking amazing. I followed Mangchi's recipe. Mangchi is like my mom on YouTube. She has taught me how to make so many different dishes. It's insane. Kimchi is so good with this. This salted pollock roll looks gross, but is so delicious if you love salt bombs and umami. This would pair really well with konguksu because this is very nutty, not very salty. And this will just add a whole lot to the flavor profile right here. That's real good. My battery died, but here's the aftermath. Everything gone. Dinner today is gonna be tonkatsu, which is the Korean way to say katsu. I agreed to some last minute plans to go watch everything, everywhere, all at once. So, Gene is coming over now, aka I have to feed him too. <laughs> Batter up. Flour, egg, panko. The trifecta of crispy, flaky, crunchy katsu. Oof. I'm heating up some vegetable oil to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. My meat of choice for katsu is usually pork loin. Ugh, music to my ears. Transfer to a wire rack once golden. And repeat. Time to get saucy. I'm crushing up a small spoonful of sesame seeds, a fat squirt of good old ketchup, a few shakes of Worcestershire, an unknown amount of soy sauce, a generous glob of honey, and then we, oh wait, I forgot a sprinkle of rice vinegar. Okay, now we mix. Okay, we're tasting this. It does taste pretty ketchup-y. I'm gonna try this store-bought one. 
They honestly taste really similar, except mine tastes slightly more like honey, and this, I can tell they definitely just use sugar. Water, sugar, high fructose corn syrup, vinegar, tomato paste, salt, apple juice, concentrate, starch. They actually like taste the same. This is, if anything, more healthy. But maybe I'll put both of them out and make Jean guess which one is homemade and which one is store-bought. That's the homemade one. This is the store-bought one. I don't have a mandolin because I cut a chunk of my finger off with one last year. So we're shredding cabbage the old-fashioned way. That crunch! Key for salad. Sauce? You want me to try it? <laughs> and so, you want to test the market or her market versus yours? Which one is Yeah, better? which one is the store bought? <laughs> which one is the homemade? Oh, this is crazy. I'm gonna I don't even know which one. <laughs> Why are you mixing it <laughs> Visually, I have a theory. The one right here is store bought. I'm not even gonna look at you. <laughs> Felt thicker. <laughs> oh, 100% this is store bought. This is, you made this. Why? Hmm? Why? This one tastes more like, like ketchup, sour. This is the opposite. <laughs> no, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Yay, good job. Mm -hmm. You got to be part of my what I eat in a day. They're usually by myself. <laughs> <laughs> the egg salad or sandwich was freaking really? bomb. Oh god. in K-Town. This is, I swear to you, a very abnormal day. <laughs> but we just finished watching the movie, which was very interesting. It was really good. But yeah, I guess I'm drinking and eating more now. <laughs> It is 1.30 now. We are three soju bottles in and two beers. No, one beer? Only Just one beer. One. Just one beer. Three, but with three people. This is not a typical day, so I'm gonna <laughs> head over to Jean's now. And then we are going to work out tomorrow. Are you coming tomorrow? No. I'll come. Calling it a night here. And Night we cap. will see you guys in the next one. Oh, this is... <laughs> <laughs>